Good afternoon and welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And that's my formal introduction that I do every day. So in case you haven't heard me for the first time, this gives you the background at least or backstory about my work in a way. And in case you haven't joined me before, this is my daily Facebook Live um, the overarching title is Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's broadcast, being the next one in the series, is number 342. And today's topic is actually is another one of these red flag advisories. I've done a few of these now. This is number four, I think. I don't remember which one was which. Um, and this one is actually kind of a slanted one on this one. So let me get into this one. Um, I do this every day, as I mentioned, and at the end of the broadcast, I mentioned where you can see my other broadcasts. Um, this one, though, is more of a self-awareness red flag. Well, I guess they all are in a way. This is involving you and you, which basically is, um, is your desire beyond your comfort zone, or is your desire beyond your, um, well, I said, are you settling? What I'm saying is basically, are you holding, are your desires beyond what you think you can have? That's a very better way of putting it. Because that's a red flag as well. And I mean it in this context. If you are someone who... Well, no, let's put it this way. I'll just say as you are. I keep saying if and this, and it's like, oh, let's just get to it, shall we? You're someone who has a desire and dream of a relationship that is probably going to blow your socks off. You have an intention, a desire, a wish to attract a partner if you're a woman, ideally attracting a partner if you're a man, Pursuing a partner, that's a whole different breakdown, which I've talked about before, with the masculine and the feminine, but we'll skip it here for now, unless you have a request for that. So you're going to attract a partner who's going to blow your socks off, who's an amazing person, who's everything you want, absolutely, like, tens in all the different columns. But you go out with somebody who's not that. In fact, you go, so go out with somebody who is a lot less than that, and you think you're okay with that. This is telling. And what it's telling is it's actually saying to you that you don't believe you can have what you want. And with some of my clients, that's become a pretty, um, I won't say consistent, but it's become a frequent topic that's come up is, do you believe you deserve what you want? And the answer truthfully is no, which is unfortunate. And it's also a lie. And yes, I call it a lie for distinctly because I'll tell them to their face. It's like you're lying to yourself if you think you, don't, you can't have what you desire. Because you do deserve what you want. Everybody does. It's the truth that we hold in ourselves. I should say, excuse me, it's the truth that we deny ourselves that we can actually have what we want. We believe because of some rules that we can only have something that's 50% of that or is going to be something like that with a lot of pain and suffering on the side as well. In my previous broadcast, the one I did yesterday in particular, I was yesterday? If you haven't watched my broadcast for a while, by the way, my last three broadcasts, which was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so yeah, three broadcasts were red flags as well, about different areas of relationships that could be challenging, and they all really, in a way, speak to this as well, which is the challenge you face, for example, I said yesterday, um, thanks for the thumbs up, I appreciate all the love and, uh, love and comments and people appearing, so thanks for being in the broadcast. Um, in yesterday's one, I think yesterday's one, I talked about how if you are, um, if you said to yourself many times over, that you'll never date somebody like that again, and again, and you keep telling yourself again and again, but you still do dating that, that, that's very telling as well. So this is maybe a little deeper cut for that, and hopefully give you some insight. Most people I know, including myself, have a pretty clear vision and intention of what they want to have in a relationship. Now, a lot of people don't, but I'm trusting that perhaps you do as well is have a clear vision, intention, a, a kind of a scenario or a, a, um, I'm going to use the word vision, intention perhaps, another way of putting it, of what relationship you'd like to have, the quality of relationship, quality of partnership, how you'd like to be together, what those things would be. If you sell yourself out, sell yourself short, settle for less than you deserve, what's the point of having that intention? Seriously, what is the point? If you're having intention what you want to have this incredible, amazing relationship, and instead of going for that, you go for something a little bit less than that, 
there's no point in even having the vision, the intention or desire. It's a wasted waste of energy. But the thing is this. If some part of you has this belief, this knowing that you can have what you really want, then why not put your energy into supporting that vision? Why not put your intention into actually making that happen? Now, a couple of caveats I need to speak to in this one is if your intention is with a particular person who may or may not be available to you, that may not work. But I'm meaning the intention of having a vision, intention of the quality of relationship, the type of partner you're with. So no names. <laughs> so you, know, you can't put in the, you know, the vision the person that you want to be with because they might not be available to you. They might already be married. They might be looking for somebody else entirely, in which case it won't fit. But your ideal, your ideal vision, being based upon qualities, feelings, and um, the level of experience that you want, that you can actually hold on to. In fact, I invite you to hold on to that because that will be perhaps the biggest um, navigation piece, the guidance, the divining rod that will lead you where you want to go. But again, for most people out there, maybe not you, but most people out there, they have this whole vision, essentially what they want, and they put it over on the side, once they go about their dating life, swiping on dating apps and, and matchmaking site, matchmakers, and they don't come close to that vision they have over here. I mean, if you're doing that, do you get how silly that is? And how, how it's like shooting yourself in the foot? Because it is. You're holding back from what you truly can have. You're actually shooting yourself in the foot because you don't believe you can. It's like, why bother doing that? I can't believe that point long enough. Let me just speak, let me speak to another piece of this, which is this. I'm going to carefully bring this one in because this, this, is, this ties into something I talked about before. about And I talked about this, I think it was two days ago. I can't remember which one's which. Again, I did do three different um, previous red flag advisories before this one. And I'm not sure which order they came in. But one of them I talked about the programming we run the beliefs that we take on when we're younger that we don't forget, or I should say they go subconscious when we're adults, and we still run them as an adult. Your pure intention, your desire for an amazing relationship, this, this experience you're looking for that's going to be a beyond, it's going to blow your socks off, all this wonderful stuff, is going to push on that. Because they're competing. They're actually conflicting in a way. Power of intention, clear vision, what you want to have and that, or something you enjoy, and the limitation of what you've been raised with or whatever that was before. They don't go together. But the question is, which are you going to choose to side with? Because the reality is, you can pick either one. Now, most people, because they don't know this, are unaware that the subconscious piece down here is actually the um, automatic pilot, so they're ignoring it, but it can be changed. If your vision is strong enough, you hold true enough to it, all that stuff underneath that's not working will come up to the surface to be dealt with. Oh, joy. But the truth is, when it does that, you can then work with it. Because when it's subconscious, you're not even aware it's there. So how can you work with it? And it's actually hard to do. Um, so, Karen, oh, kind, nice to see you, Karen. We, we have to talk, I know. Um, you think many women subconsciously believe that they don't deserve what they truly desire. It's hard to overcome this. See, this is the frustration. This is why, in a way, I'm passionate about my work with women, particularly because so many women have been, um, in some ways, brainwashed, beaten down, that they kind of what they want, and this blows my mind. Because there's so many beautiful women walking around who aren't owning their beauty, first of all. Secondly, aren't owning what they deserve. And thirdly, not actually getting what they want. And I'm passionate about women having that. So yes, there is some of that going on. But I'm not sure how if it's true of all. This is the thing. Uh, first of all, by the way, Karen, I'll say one thing. I don't believe it's too hard to overcome this. It just requires some clarity, some focus, and some support. It can be difficult to overcome when you're not aware of it, because again, as I mentioned before, the subconscious part, which is tied into a whole other conversation, is running autopilot. So if you're not even aware of it, it's going to be really hard to overcome it. So sometimes just the awareness of that subconscious programming can shift it. Oftentimes it requires more than that, but just having that simple awareness of what's running subconsciously can stop it from doing its automatic programming. So it can be um, simple, if not easy. <laughs> to put it that way. So the, there was a piece I was going to drop in here, but I, I jumped in to respond to your comment. Um, 
if you have a clear intention of what you want, let's, put, let's start from that part again. That really is amazing. It's going to blow your socks off. That is the vision you've always held. Hold on tight to that. Hold on really clear to that. You may get tempted because of your subconscious wiring again to settle for something that's at a lower level. But ignore that. Don't even fall into that one. Stay true to your vision, your intention, what you really want. If you do that alone, it will shift some things for you, for you because your default programming your default programming, won't be able to play out if you don't settle for it. If you settle for less than you deserve and you put up with relationships that don't match what you want and they don't take care of you, they don't honor you, respect you, and those things, if you don't fall for those, if you don't choose those, that wiring, that, that programming is going to start um, stopping in a way, you know? You're very welcome, Karen. Absolutely don't settle. I mean, it's tr and it's true for both sides, of both. and this is the interesting thing. Um, as I'm saying this, I'm looking at, okay, so I'm telling men and women, including myself, not to settle. We want to sit for the best. So where are all the best? One, where are all the people going to be who are settling? Because the thing is, you know, we've all settled for relationships in the past, I would say. They weren't to our best and possibility, great, what our greatest expression of what we could have. Now, maybe because those partners, like ourselves, are developing and growing and becoming better partners, so we can actually have a much more fulfilling relationship because the internal journey has changed. The external appearance maybe not have changed that much, but the internal um, resonance, the internal focus, the internal strength is much cleaner, much higher, much more powerful. So our evolution is generally internal. Yes, a lot of times our external will change too because we'll take care of ourselves better and we become more um, presentable, <laughs> that's the way of putting it, because we own our energy, our light, our brightness, our love, our expression more fully. Um, I know for my own self, over the years, I've definitely, you know, I'm probably in better shape, better health than I've been probably ever in my life in some ways. Admittedly, when I was 20, I was probably more fit than I am now, but I take care of myself better than I used to. So that's part of my evolution on the external, but the internal journey has been going on for 30 plus years. And so I'm very passionate about this being a um, open door to anybody who wants to choose this. We can all choose to be better people. And when you raise your standards for what you want, you can also raise standards of who you're going to be and that you can have both. So this settling piece that I mentioned in the, in the title is a choice. You don't have to settle. In fact, you don't have to settle for your own life the way it is now. And you don't have to settle for a level of relationship that's not as good as you desire. You can actually step up in both counts. And if for some ways in some ways they are interwoven, that when you want an amazing quality relationship, and you want to put some energy into making your life an amazing quality experience too, then they come together more easily. So you're not, you're not, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll say shopping beyond your means, but that's not the phrase I'm looking for. It's not the phrase that speaks to the same sort of thing. You're not really aiming for something you can't have. You're actually raising your, or actually you're closing yourself to the target so you actually, hit it, you actually get there more easily. I think that makes sense. Um, I think I've made my point. This is one of my recent topics about um, red flag advisories. I'm not sure there'll be another one tomorrow. We'll see. They've been, they've been coming through slowly. I mentioned at the beginning where you can find me out of the broadcast, by the way, because I've done this theme around red flags since Friday, Saturday, Friday. So it's been about four days or five days of this. And if you haven't watched those broadcasts, I invite you to go back and watch them. To watch those, you can find them all on my business page on Facebook if you're watching it on Facebook, which is on uh, barryselby.author is my business page. Or if you're watching it on YouTube, because they do appear there as well, you can find them on my um, user handle, which is Barry Selby, of course. My, all, my, all my social media is my name. Um, you can find it on the Messages from the Masculine playlist. They do end up on my website, but that I'm revamping at some point because my website um, has that page you now again overloaded with 340 broadcasts. It's a very slow loading, loading page, so you may not want to watch it there. So on YouTube channel or on Facebook, it's probably better than watching it on my business page right on my website right now. But if you do want to get help in this area, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I do offer a complimentary clarity conversation, my gift to you, my opportunity to serve you and support you. You can go to my website, which is barryselby.com, and you click on the Let's Chat button. Or in fact, you go to barryselby.com forward slash chat, either way, and sign up for a, three, a free 30-minute conversation with me. Um, that's where you get some support, some guidance, some clarity where you want to go. And that may be the most effective and the most efficient path to get you there. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that stuff. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. If this resonates with you and you feel like some other people should watch this, please share it with them. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll answer them when I sign off. And uh, yes, Karen, I look forward to speaking to you as well. Um, and 
and homework. Is there a homework for this one? Actually, yeah. Like was, I tend to give homework on these broadcasts. So if you're watching this, there's homework. Um, if you've been settling for less than you deserve, maybe it's time to revamp your vision, what you really want. Start getting clear about what you really do want. Um, I actually have a program that will help you get that. If you're a woman, called Attract the Man You Want. So if you're looking for that, I can help you with that. But actually do it on your own. You can start getting clear about what it is you really want and what you've been settling for. Get clear about that because it might show you a stark contrast and give you a vision of what you want to shift and become and what you want to attract. So with that, I wish you well. Have a great evening. I'll be back in tomorrow with another broadcast. That'll be number 343. And maybe a red flag. We'll see. Some of it show up when they show up. But thanks for being with me, as always. Thanks for the comments, the questions, and the love. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.